it was embarrassing for me also because i was just thinking people would be reading these things and uh what would they think about me my mother sent me a screenshot from a urdu newspaper and she was upset to do because if uh, that hadn't happened probably this whole matter would, wouldn't have uh, uh, you know grown up so much wouldn't have blown uh, up so much it could have uh, he could have probably been rehabilitated <laughs> quickly and uh, quietly ah uh, no i <laughs> that it didn't occur to me maybe because i thought that uh, what i had put out in the public domain was so uh, graphic uh, that uh, he won't do that it was not uh, it was not uh, easy thing to do and i i had gone over that uh, a few times uh, previous uh, day and night and i um it uh, i i don't want to make it too very dramatic but yeah it was uh, i i was not uh, very comfortable doing it there were a lot of things which i uh, rewrote several times thinking that it was embarrassing for me also because i was just thinking people would be reading these things and uh what would they think about me so it was uh, it was not a very easy thing to do and uh, i think language also plays a role because i was writing in english probably i was comfortable with the language but when i saw it translated in hindi and uh, subsequently in urdu and my mother sent me a screenshot from a urdu newspaper and she was upset so that uh, that i realized was uh, maybe i had made a mistake doing this it was early days i felt that uh, it was um, suddenly looking like somebody else's story and with such uh, such a devastating language and words so yeah it was uh, it was uh, not a very good thing uh or a good feeling that i had when i was writing it a very a few very close friends uh and uh, my uh, my siblings my sister my brother i had not taken my parents into confidence i think this upset part was only temporary uh she was upset my father was probably embarrassed for a little while because uh, when it once it's out in even uh, the regional languages then a lot of uh, his uh, friends uh, also read about it who had no clue i uh, was the first person in my family and in this social cultural uh, background of agra who had not only gone out of the town to work but was living on her own and not getting married so it was um, a huge leap of faith even for my parents i mean there was a lot of resistance my parents were not happy with this earlier but they made peace with this because they realized okay i'm happy this way i want to do this but within their own friend circle this was always a matter of lot of discussion that um, so what is happening with her when is she going to getting married now they are and my father called, tells me almost every day we are such a patriarchy driven society 
anyone who is uh, saying something contrary to what uh, the common uh, or drilled down wisdom is, is seen as a disruptor. And a disruptor is somebody nobody likes. Even women kind of uh, hold back on the side of uh, convention and customs and try and bring down uh, uh, another woman who's trying to raise her voice or trying to complain against uh, what has happened to her. I was very, very um, pleasantly surprised because I, when I did this, I was not anticipating even this much of, did worry about that, that would I be dismissed as somebody who's trying to do this for an opportunistic reason. Fixing accountability also comes from uh, if you are if you name and shame somebody because uh, often that is punishment enough. Everybody has to decide what would bring closure to them. As far as I'm concerned, I feel that if more and more people come out and name and shame the people who have been the violator, it would create a consciousness that uh, something like this can happen. And for a lot of people, this loss of reputation, um, public loss of reputation can be uh, a deterrent. I was oblivious of that threat part of that. A few people mentioned it to me, but that was a good thing that I did not uh, think about in myself, so it didn't trouble me so much. Uh, so I, no, I was not scared. The biggest mistake we are making is calling is a movement. I think it has been a, it should be looked at a, as a continuum. Uh, to say that it was a movement, you immediately put an expiry date to it. That the movement started at this and this date and I finished at this point. Desire to control a woman's agency over her own life is universal across religion and I suppose across uh, geography. At least in this area, we all agree. <laughs>